praise the Lord this morning. We bless the Lord for His goodness and for His mercies unto us. We thank Him for His privileges that He gives us. Completely undeserving. Lord, you give us mercy. Completely undeserving. But Lord, you grant unto us grace. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes we think about the things that the Lord does for us. And if you are to wait and to ask yourself that what did I do to deserve it? And you are honest with yourself. You will say nothing. That's the goodness of God. That's the goodness of God. And as I say that goodness of God, I also know of the severity of God. So this morning, we want to ask Him and say, Lord, may I be a recipient of your goodness more than your severity, Lord. Lord, show me mercy, not to be severe with me. But in your mercy, O oh God, may your goodness overtake me. Receive his goodness. Receive his goodness. That his goodness will overtake you. His goodness will go beyond your understanding. His goodness will go beyond that which you think. His goodness will go into your home and into your work life and, and all around you. Scripture says that if a man's ways are pleasing unto the Lord, he causes even his enemies to be at peace with him. If the Lord is able to cause enemies who are sworn enemies, determined to see your downfall, to be at peace, what more can he not do? Receive the Lord's goodness. Receive it for your children. Receive it for yourself, receive it for your household, receive it for people around you, receive it for your brother and your sister, receive it for the brethren on this platform, the Lord may you show goodness. May your goodness, O God, may your goodness, O God, be experienced, O God, and and received my brother embrace it my sister see it rate kolobrazini mi kante seni mi ke repliko toni mi zediane sente your goodness envelopas kaliane mo diri mi ke that we be not sons of destruction but sons of pleasure ranto le diane ke daughters of pleasure rapadio no no bodi ke te sendia ke le bodi to whom will we go? Peter said that you are the one that have the words of life. To whom will we go? Where will we find mercy? Where will we find grace? Where will we find goodness? Where will we find your interventions? Where else will we find your mercy that flows every day? Your goodness come to us, Lord. Your goodness. Your goodness. Yes, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The hymn writer rose and, and says simply trusting every day. Trusting through the stormy way. Simply trusting. I don't even know why he says simply. But how 
come trusting is so difficult? How come to trust God is so difficult? But to him, it's a simple thing because it requires no physical exertion. It requires no physical planning. It requires no moving from one place to another. But only to trust. Help me, Lord, to trust. Beloved, trust the Lord for the day. The Lord strengthen you from within to just trust Him that He will show up. To just trust Him that He will break through the cloud. To just trust Him that He will lift up. To just trust Him that today is a new day. That today He would lift up. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To just trust him, Bali on tele Brazilimike, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Kalabada, Nerete Kenimo, Rabande Zeniono, Rete Zenio, Rokolo Bodi in Izite, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. When we walk with the Lord in the light of your word, what a glory you shed on our way. When we do your good will, you abide with us still, and with us we will trust. And be. Now the Lord show forth his goodness unto us and bring us to the place that we can stand and trust. We can stand and trust. Yes, Father, thank you. Thank you. Lord be praised. Beloved, I want to take us back into our key our key scripture we've been looking at in Hosea chapter six verse one to three. And it says that come and let us return unto the Lord. For he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us, and in the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know if we follow unto know the law. His going forth is prepared as the morning. It shall come unto us as the rain and as the latter and former rain unto the earth. In looking at the verses, a lot comes to my mind. A lot. But what I want to say, and let us pray briefly this morning, Because yesterday I and and by the way, sorry about yesterday. Um, I was completely. Uh, I'm supposed to have known that yesterday was to be one hour. Uh, 
when I was completely, completely not <coughs> aware when they sent the program to me last week. I didn't pay attention to details to see that it was 7. Um, no, rather 6.30. Um, and uh, a lot of people send messages on the platform, which I don't get to see because I don't go there when I'm leaning, hardly. And people send messages to my phone. I'm sorry about all that. Uh, it is the same phone I'm holding, but I close my eyes most of the time until I'm done, so I get not to see. I'm sorry about that. Um, yesterday, I tried to run through verse 1 to verse 2. And <coughs> I want us to look at the last thing he said in verse 2, just briefly. When he has raised us up on the third day, he says we shall live in his presence or in his sight. It is only when we have returned, and it is only when we have acknowledged that we are not satisfied with where we are and so we return then he says after he has raised us up we will live in his sight and in his sight or in his presence there is fullness of joy if we dwell in his sight there shall no evil Befall us. If we dwell on his side, he will continually speak for us. If we dwell on his side, he will rebuke the devourer for our sake. In fact, if we dwell in his side, he will reprimand us when we're going wrong. If we dwell on his side, he will direct us away from evil. If we dwell in his sight, then we will continually bring him joy. You want to pray and say, Lord, whatever it takes for me to dwell in your sight. That's why I want to be. Don Melon sang a song years ago and said, I want to be where you are, dwelling in your presence. Just there in his sight, on his blind side, in the dark and in a place. Meanwhile, the scripture did say that there is no place that you and I can hide that the Lord will not see. Psalm 139 says that even if I go down into the deep, behold, you are there. If I find myself hiding into in the crevices, oh, your presence is there. But we want to position ourselves in His sight. It's a decision we make and say, Lord, that nothing of mine will be hidden in the dark. You want to pray and say, Lord, that in your presence will I be? In your sight will I be? In your sight will I be that when you call me I will not I will not be hesitant. When you draw me in as painful, as difficult as it may be, I would rather be in your sight. That your eyes will be upon me. That your sweetness, parabu didi pateka ne rebriso te kalione, will extend over me, rapalioso te. Lord, I would rather be in your sight, keneme diosoto, that we would rather be there as a congregation, ne mose ti dilibike. And as brethren, Lord, we would rather be there, rakalo wadia na situ kalianeme, 
Rapandiko, as leaders who rather be in your presence, Kania in your sight, Lord. Rebadiko lobo, retisite in the baby, as them that make decisions, as them that have influence, as them that lead people, as them that lead institutions, as them that govern, as them that take decisions, as them, Lord, that even run homes, and as them, them Lord, that, that walk back and forth, as them who work in places, Lord, we will rather be in your side than to be hidden. Kalio rotisi ni me kandele bede. Ratazo ni libidibio kolobrandi katesini. That if there be anything that takes us away, kalia ne mondi libike, we choose to return. Rabadio kolobode. What it takes to keep us in your side. Rakabo no lia ne mezete ke libodi ke nyo son toki. Ye marakan di libikate zenyoneke. Da Peter out of all, say the Lord let us make a tabernacle. Barra to sin in the candy beke. One for us and one for you. Rapatile beke and for Moses and Elijah. Rikatuneze. Rapade runi setene beke. He doesn't want to go down to the bottom of the mountain. Rapalioko lubreziti ni bikete. Rabande le beke. The high paradioso ton di libike. On the mountain experience. Ribadio no sonte. May you keep us there, Lord. Ratia. Keep us there. When it's going good, keep us there. When it doesn't seem to be going good, keep us there. In your sight is where we will dwell. Spirit of grace, help us. Verse 3 says that then shall we know then shall we know I don't know but my spirit just stirs up when I read the we us and all that and, and my spirit just gives a lip a kick then shall we know you know, the times when it is always I and I and I and I and I and I. He said, then shall we know. Then shall we know that you have a design, a fervency, Kali Abrusi Tendelebe, that my sister will know as well. My brother will be there as well. That we as a congregation will be there as well. He said, then shall we know. Then shall we know. Beloved, I think that every single one of us know when things aren't good. We know. When things are not where it ought to be, we know. When deep within things are not exactly what it ought to be, we know. We know. Even when we pretend in public that we don't know, in private, we will admit that we know. But look at what he says. He says, if we follow on to know the Lord. He said, we will know if we follow on to know the Lord. What does that say? Pursue. Perseverance. Receptivity. receptivity. Coming to that place where we, we, we follow on. Beloved, when we get to know the Lord as children and we get born again and all that, and and um, we get instructed into the kingdom of heaven. We embrace him. And for some people, it is because maybe things are not going good that we 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 go and we we came to know the Lord. For for some people too, it is because at a certain point, you know, as children, we didn't even know what we we're doing. We were instructed into the house, the, the 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 Lord, and and then we just stay there and followed. And for some also, maybe we wanted something desperately, you know, and then somebody spoke to us, or then we decided that look, rest, that try God because we have tried everything else and all that, 
That's how come we came to know God. And in the beginning of knowing God, there is always such awesome experience, a time when you could pray, a time of worship, a time when we could sing, oh, happy day, oh, happy day, you know, when Jesus washed my sins away, and the times when sin becomes something we try everything to avoid, the times when speaking a bad word, when we speak a bad word, we, we feel guilty and bad about it, the times when, when we fall into sin, we feel very bad about it, you know, in those times that we walk with him and things like that, we feel in those things, but as good as the beginning is, the continuation is what will make you know if you dwell in his presence. So he comes to the place, say, if we follow on to know the Lord, the, the, the knowing of the Lord we know in the beginning and many of us would wish that we have that kind of beginning times. I had wonderful, 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 wonderful beginnings. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful times. I just, I sometimes I even am afraid to close my eyes because I close my eyes and I'm seeing things. Wonderful, 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 wonderful times. But he says that we will know if we follow on to know the Lord. It means what we knew of him, or we thought we knew of him, is nothing compared to what we would know of him if we follow. What we thought we knew, the healing we thought we received, the interventions of God we thought we knew, the joys he put all in around us, the laughter he put in our mouth, the deliverances that we have experienced, the joy that overtake us, the lifting of hands we lift up and then his presence fall upon us and, and we could hardly stand. What we thought was a thing which we always would desire that we would go back to is nothing compared to when we follow him into the deep. Lord, may I follow. There may be things that have distracted and, and drawn you further away from where you ought to be. But Lord, may I follow. It's a prayer I want us to pray. Lord, may I follow. There may be so much that has been thrown at you, so much the, the world has thrown at you, so much the systems of this world have thrown at you, so much men and women have thrown at you, so much that marriage has thrown at you, so much that disappointment has come, so much has been thrown at you. But if you follow, you will know. Karabon kasito nemondike. Radio sote zene. You know what keeps a man from following? Weariness. That you will take the Lord will take weariness away from your soul this morning, beloved. The Lord will take weariness away from your soul this morning. The Lord will take weariness away from your soul this morning. The Lord will take weariness from my soul this morning, my sister. Barakata nule bondiri bikata that I will not grow weary. Neither will I become familiar with the Lord. Rabadio no sonte. Neither will I become contented with the experiences that I have had. Rakalorom diri bikata sinimi ke diri bike. It is like I will not be like a man who walks onto the beach and sees just, you know, Labadi Beach or somewhere or the beach or something and looks at the sea and say, I have seen the sea and this vast and this is all there is to it. Travel and see and you will see how vast the sea is. The Lord is vast. The Lord is vast. What we see with him in a corner. It's not enough for what we will see if we follow. Lord, when you call me, I follow. Lord, when you beat me, I come. May there be continuous hunger. May there be continuous hunger for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Continuous hunger for him. And when we follow, The scripture says his going forth is prepared as the morning, the breaking forth, the dawning of a new day, the casting away of the night. The darkness is received and his light is breaking forth. 
his going forth is prepared as the morning. But beloved, I realize the time is out, but let me make just some quick comment to guide you through the day, to reflect on these things. You notice that he says that he shall come to us. Not just that he shall come, but to us, meaning to you as an individual, to me as an individual. That's his intention. And he says, as the rain. As the rain. And the rain, when it is coming, it does not select. But beloved, do you know that the rain profits some and do not profit some? The rain profits the earth. In ways that a soil place receives it and the thing planted in it sprouts. But the same rain falls on the rock, on the concrete place and profits it nothing. But he will come to us as the rain. I don't know what ground you are. And Lord, I don't know I don't want to be a rock. I don't want to be in an unprofitable place that when you break forth, because sometimes the Lord will come at the dawning of a morning and, and quickening and speaking and, and staring, but somehow familiarity or, or something or the other, I close my ears and it doesn't profit. I still go in the direction I want to go. I still go in the plan I have already made. I still go in the decision I have already reached. I still go in that direction. The Lord will not profit you. But if you come to the place where you are open, where you are receptive and open, that the rain will come, that Lord, there could be a tweaking, there could be a turning around, there could be a new dimension, there could be a new decision made. Lord, there could be something you are saying. Lord, you may be in this situation. Lord, you may be lifting me up. Beloved, if the rain will profit. The rain will profit. May the Lord be your prophet, beloved. Sorry, my time's up. I like you to reflect and pray through these things. When you feel the hunger punks, pray. And those of you who also are not fasting, when it comes to your mind, pray. When it does not come to your mind, set an alarm on your phone. And when the alarm rings and you've even forgotten what the alarm is about, it's right there on the alarm that I need to pray that I be a ground unto which God will come, that the Lord will come to me and He will profit me, that today He will come. He will come. Systems may, may, may have been set. Things may have been decreed. But when the Lord does come, He opens up. May the door open because he will come to you. May he not knock forever, beloved. May he not knock forever. You know when the scripture talks about behold I stand at the door and knock. May he not knock forever. May he not continually say and keep knocking at the door and you haven't opened. But may you be receptive. The Lord bless you, beloved, and keep you. The Lord, may He lift up His face unto you and be gracious to you. The Lord Himself, His countenance, may He not frown at you. May He not be grieved with you. But may His countenance be lifted upon you and give you peace. To you and to your children, and to your children's children, to your household, to you and to your household, to you and that which concerns you, the Lord grants you peace. May His name be upon you, that you are His own. Go forth in this your mind, blessed of the Lord.